Hey, what's going on guys? Instead of hanging out in the garage today or out on the bikes, I'm gonna be showing you guys where all the magic happens. So this is where I do all of my editing for my YouTube videos. You know that I recently got a MacBook Pro and then sold it, that was gonna replace a lot of this, still wanted to work in here, but that would have become my mobile editing rig. I would do all my editing on that and just uh, plug in here when I wanted to use extra monitors. But I've gotten a lot of requests for something like this and people constantly ask me what I edit on, what program I use, uh, different things that I use for editing and I thought it would be nice if I had one single video where I could direct people to with all the stuff that I use. So here it is. Ignore the terrible cable management below. Like I said, I was getting a laptop so I could do all my editing on that. And all the cables under here are for computer stuff. It's cables that wouldn't normally be there if I had a laptop. But instead I had to rehook everything up to my PC and uh, that's why you see the mess that is down here. But let's look at everything up here where everything is clean. I figure I start with the desk itself my pride and joy, I actually made that myself. It actually has an Ikea kitchen countertop um, for the actual surface. It's really solid. I have this awesome dual monitor stand, which is actually recommended by uh, someone, a subscriber. On, I think uh, on Twitter, someone gave me this recommendation for this one. The desk holds all this weight fine. It handles everything on here, including me just like leaning up against this thing. It's got no problem, completely solid. Uh, but what we got underneath holding it up is steel piping that I got from a local machining shop. And then I use these clamps right here. They're called Klee clamps. There's a website you can get these and they sell all different kinds of fittings that you can use to make your own furniture. Um, and then you just put the piping through and you tighten it down with uh, an Allen head socket. These are kind of similar to plumbing fittings that you can get just from Home Depot or Lowe's or something like that. Um, but these are kind of specifically made for furniture and stuff. It just got good mounting points, they're really solid and it makes it really easy to put together. Like I said, super solid. I have this second bar that goes across functioning both as a, uh, a little footrest and as just an extra point of stability so that this thing can't really shake. Pretty easy to put together too. I'll put all of the things in this video down in the description, all the devices, all the computer pieces, um, where you can get all the stuff for the desk, all that will be linked down below so that you can have, if you want any fr anything from here, you can find it easily and it helps me out too because if you buy through those links then I get a little cut back. But that is the desk handmade by yours truly. Let's move on to the latest addition and uh, a pretty awesome tool that I use multiple times a day. Actually, pretty much, I guess I technically use it constantly 24 seven. And that is the Synology NAS, Network Attached Storage. This is their latest DS916 Plus. They sent this out to me recently. Um, I was using their DS716 before this uh, and I was so excited for this one. It fit my needs so well. I reached out to them and they sent out the DS916 for me. If you're a content creator on YouTube, one of the biggest things that you can do is make sure that you have all of your stuff backed up. Even if you're not a content creator, if you have stuff that you care about on your computer, you should have a backup solution and uh, something like this makes it extremely easy. What I really like about the Synology units is uh, how well integrated it is, how easy it is to use for someone who has no idea what they're doing. Um, you can have never used something like this before. You don't even have to know what this is. All you have to know is that if you need to back stuff up and you want to be able to access your things outside of just like your own home, this thing will help you do that. My biggest reason for having one of these beyond just backing things up is for the media capabilities. And I know this isn't specific to YouTube editing, but this is one of the biggest features that comes along with it. This thing has a quad core processor and eight gigs of memory, so it has no trouble streaming your movies and TV shows off of this thing. Um, if you use the Synology service for doing that, it can transcode 4K video, uh, and that stuff is, the, one of the main reasons that I wanted this one because it's one of the more powerful units from Synology. I use it with Plex. If you don't know what Plex is, it's just a media service um, to basically access all the media stuff that you have, TV shows, music, photos, movies, and I can access it all directly from that. 
I don't have to worry about having my computer running nonstop, which is what I was doing before. It's running right now, you can't hear it. What you can hear is my computer, which is making noise. But yeah, I really love this thing, and beyond the media capabilities, of course, very easy to back stuff up. You can set automatic backups from all of your devices, your computers, Windows, PC, you can use Time Machine if you have a Mac. I back up all the photos that I edit on Lightroom, the things that I post on Instagram and things like that. It all goes onto my server so that I can easily access it. If you wanna go super redundant, you can back up things off of the server itself to Amazon or whatever cloud backup service you use. It's really awesome, seriously. So that is the Synology DS916 Plus. That's how I back up all of the uh, videos that I export all the pictures that I post on Instagram, all of my movies, TV shows, all of that goes on there, so I never have to worry about losing any of it. Moving over, we got my keyboard. It is a Mac USB keyboard that I desperately need to replace. If you've watched my videos, you might have seen the one where I talked about the fact that I had a Hackintosh. Uh, this thing right here, I built as a Hackintosh running uh, Mac OS 10. Eventually I switched over to Windows 10, which is what is running right now. But before, that thing was a Hackintosh and that's why I have a Mac keyboard. I do not run it like that anymore, so I need to replace it. It also does not match anything, but it works. Over here, this is something that you've probably seen a ton of YouTubers talk about. This is the Logitech MX Master. I am a huge fan of Logitech stuff, and there is a reason that everyone talks about this mouse, because it is the best. Uh, it's really comfortable to use. It uses, or it can use, both Bluetooth or uh, radio frequency, just using a little USB plug, just depending on what kind of device you have. Programmable buttons, side scroll wheel, Top scroll wheel, it's got, it's it's basically awesome. You should totally use it. My mouse pad, I don't need to use it. This mouse works just fine on this, but I like having just a smooth feel. This is the uh, Steel Series. no idea what it is. I have tried to find this one again, and I don't know, I don't even know if Steel Series makes mouse pads anymore, but it's awesome. It's flexy, it's, uh, it's cool but they make good stuff. Moving back to the rear is the Blue Yeti. This is what I use for any voiceovers that I need to do in videos, Twitch streaming that I do, video chats or hangouts or things like that. I use the Blue Yeti. This is a stealth version, the black one, with just a like $10, $15 pop filter by Alphonics. This thing is awesome. I think it's between like 100 and 150 bucks, depending on when you get it and if it's on sale. But it's really, really nice. It works great, the audio quality is awesome, and uh, it's very easy to use and set up. Yo, I'm streaming. Not really. Over to the right, I have a USB 3.0 uh, dock from Anchor. It also has just a dedicated charging port at the front if you just wanna charge something but not actually connect it to your computer. Connect this uh, little SD card adapter here for my GoPro and my camera whenever I need to uh, transfer some footage. And I uh, also got my external hard drives connected. Now, once I have a laptop, and I keep saying this, laptop, 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 but, uh, my laptop is where I'm gonna store mo most of my stuff, um, but I always like to keep an external drive for any extra stuff that I need, any, uh, if I run out of space. I think if you have an external storage device, you should have an SSD. This is the Samsung T3, it's one terabyte. It is incredibly small, incredibly light. And the reason that I like having an SSD versus a hard drive is because I'm taking it around places, I'm just throwing it into a bag, I don't have to worry about moving parts in a hard drive, the SSD, no moving parts. It's basically just like a gigantic uh, SD card. It's extremely fast, I can edit straight off of this with any footage, so that always goes with me if I go out of town, I take that. Over here, as we get to the end of the desk, is uh, the right speaker of the Klipsch Pro Media 2.1 speaker setup. Uh, I guess I can turn on some music here real quick. So that's that, uh, they sound really good. It was somewhere between 100 and 150 bucks. I think the retail price is 150. Um, I'll link them down in the description. Again, it's a 2.1 unit, so it has a, uh, an attached subwoofer. Good sound. I just use it when I wanna pump up the music and I don't wanna wear my headphones anymore. But speaking of headphones, this is something that's cheap uh, and really, really cool. This is the Elevation Lab. Uh, it's called The Anchor, and it's a double anchor 
headphone mount. Um, it's flexible, it's rubbery, it uses the same 3M mount that GoPro uses, really strong, um, and it just hangs under your desk out of the way, very, very sleek. Here to the right, I have my uh, workout headphones, um, but that just makes it easy to get things going really quickly and they stay out of the way when I don't wanna use them. The headphones themselves are the Whoa, they are not the Woe. These are the Audio-Technica ATH-M50X. They have awesome, awesome quality, great sound clarity. Not meant to have like super overpowering bass or super incredibly high treble. It's got a very, very nicely balanced sound, perfect if you're editing. Um, that's why I really like these. It makes it really easy to make sure that I'm having really good sound and I'm not editing based on something that sounds overpowered. Definitely check those out if you don't have those. A lot of people use them because they are so good. Uh, just a quick note about the computer itself. It is outdated. I will list the specs down in the description. It's probably two to three years out of date, but it's got a Core i7. It's got a GTX 760 GPU, some random hard drives in there. Uh, oh, speaking of random hard drives, that's another cool thing about the this NAS, you can put mismatching hard drives in there and still set it up with RAID functionality. It doesn't have to be all the same hard drive with all the same capacity. I have like a six terabyte hard drive in there, a four terabyte hard drive in there, a one and a half terabyte hard drive in there. And then you just use Synology's hybrid RAID functionality and it meshes it all together and makes it so you have more storage than you would in a regular like RAID 5 setup. But yeah, back to the computer. A uh, few years out date, but it does the job. Um, it probably takes me about, with my settings, and I use pretty aggressive settings in Premiere to get the best quality I can. Uh, it takes about double the length of the video. So if it's a 10 minute video, it takes this thing about 20 minutes to render it. But to the screens and where all the actual editing happens, these are both Dell monitors, if you can guess, the one on the left is newer. Uh, the one on the right is the U2713HM. I loved it so much that I got its follow-up monitor, the U2715H. The bezels are much, much uh, cleaner. They both look really, really good. The color accuracy is phenomenal, 99% of sRGB, and they look great. The refresh rate is still pretty good if you want to game on it. They're 1440p monitors. Obviously, they're not going to be the absolute best gaming monitors, but my priority number one is color accuracy and editing. I, I want to eventually replace this one um, with the same model so that everything matches and I don't have that nasty large bezel on that one now that I have the really thin one over here. But they both get the job done. The color accuracy, again, the color accuracy is just crazy good. I love them. They look <laughs> really, really good. Then for the question that I get the most often, what do I edit on? So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and open up what I actually edit on. Adobe Premiere Pro CC. I've had like a love-hate relationship over time with it, um, but when it comes down to it, it just works the best for me. I was using the Mac for a while and Final Cut Pro is like the, the next level, everybody has to use it now. Um, but I just didn't like it a lot. I used it for a while. Um, I've used it in the past. I used like when I first started my channel, I was using Final Cut Pro and I used that for like a year or two. Uh, but eventually I switched over to Premiere and then recently I tried Final Cut Pro again and I just, it, there's some things that I like about it. There's a lot I don't, but I like Premiere Pro more. Just to quickly show how things happen, I have a template that I made. I just uh, open that up and then save it as a new project and uh, drop in all of the video files that I have for that vlog. As you can see here, I have my, uh, you probably can't read that, but this is an overlay, this is a background for the outro, and then a couple uh, color correction things that I'll use um, so that I can quickly get close to what I want it to look like, um, and then I just tweak things from there. Uh, then over here, I have, just you can take a look at that, I have like standard uh, text overlays that I use, I have a folder that I put all the videos in, um, I have a little sound effect that I use. <laughs> I have the SpongeBob time cards, of course, and uh, then my overlays and color correction. And just save it as a new project, drop in all my video files, and go to town on editing. But I think that's it. Uh, if you got any questions about the stuff that I use, uh, make sure to leave a comment down in the description. Hit that like button if you uh, like this video. If you want to see anything more like this, maybe all the camera gear that I use, uh, leave a comment, let me know, and uh, maybe I can put that together. I know we're not out in the garage, and we're not building anything, but tomorrow, 
the BMX bike gets built because it came in the mail today. But that's gonna be it guys. Make sure you check down in the description for all the stuff that I showed you guys today. If there's something that I missed, make sure you let me know. Again, I wanna give a huge thanks to Synology for sending out that NAS. I, I'm in love with that thing and I couldn't recommend their products more. Check it out. Backup solutions are a necessity if you exist in the world. That, that's it. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.